Hello and welcome to Dimsy's Domain and this is a Yu-Gi-Oh! 6 series not prediction video because we got news regarding the protagonist. The protagonist is called Yusaku Fujiki who is also a 16 year old high school student. Check out my channel as well as BYG Aigami channel for these videos where we broke down the character design, a character analysis regarding the plot as well as the potential time placement regarding the 6th series of Yu-Gi-Oh! which is as of now yet unnamed. So let's talk about something very interesting right here and this was brought to my attention through Aigami. Well before we continue do you want to say hello? Hello everyone thanks for having me Dimsy. Always a pleasure to have you here because we can discuss this excellent idea and hopefully it does come to fruition but let's discuss what his possible deck could be so let's talk about the protagonist look if we were to focus on Yugi he didn't really have a proper fixed archetype in my opinion he had he had dark magician as well as the other rock monsters but I don't know you're, you're the expert regarding the original dual monsters what do you reckon is the flavor of Yugi's deck in terms of what monsters and his archetype the thing with Yugi and Yami's deck is that Yami's deck is more based around his Egyptian past uh, as dark magician and dark magician girl are both of his servants in the present time I mean the past and the thing with Yugi's deck is Yugi's deck is sort of rock based and also it has like a like the silent magician so it has some sort of inspiration from a Tim's deck or Willie's grandpa's deck so just think of it like this magicians spellcasters rocks and then dark type monsters and I guess because it was the first series and they didn't really at that point they didn't really uh, blue have a blueprint of what each deck is going to be heck the look the rules for Yu-Gi-Oh wasn't even set out or put into place and cemented by that moment so let's move on to let's say GX and that was very clear we had a warrior deck which focused on fusion if we were to move on to 5Ds which is where it gets a bit muddy again what would you reckon would be Yusei's ideal deck? Deck. I know he had the junk deck and that's usually yeah, the revolving around fiends, everything and anything to be honest because you know with junk, garbage lord etc yeah. The thing with Yusei's deck I think it was just like a bunch of random cards, yeah, yes they had like a following but it was just more about like random cards that sort of helped them get to the main thing because if you look at his normal monsters, the, his his deck is shit yeah. but with the synchrons it was actually really well like placed. And you can't even say that it was dragons in general, yes he was Thardos dragon and the theme of 5Ds was all about the 5 dragons but even then it wasn't really set in stone when we go to Zexel once again you have Gaga Ga Ga Kaiba and these Gaga Ga it's more so the moniker of Gaga Ga Ga when you go to Yuya in Arc 5 you have the performance powers which also stem throughout the archetype so it's more so a naming they fall under the umbrella of a certain naming uh, scheme and that personally is something I did not like I didn't like the fact that hey let's say performer powers can be absolutely any monster type if you want to be honest and I want them to go back to the old school mantra of you pick one type whether it be dragon spellcaster whatever and you stick to it before we continue what is the eye color for our protagonist it's in this green. picture and what does his name directly translate to a tree a tree but let's say what's the full what's the full translation what wiser tree a journey to a wiser so we've speculated we're not speculated we've discussed in our previous videos that this series is going to be all about him on a journey to find himself and that's also what we get from the plot he's a shy timid boy he doesn't really fit in he's not the most popular we don't know if he's a bullied kid i don't think he's a bullied kid he looks quite cool he looks like he's able to handle himself in that regard but it's just the fact that he's confused Fuse. he doesn't know what he's doing he has a lot of stress or he has a lot of things in his shoulders but point being he his name translates to a wiser tree why tree we said before about how trees are the pillars of earth in terms of they sustain life and also they encourage life and they're able to even take life away by taking away the carbon dioxide or taking away um, or putting too much oxygen they are essential to the ecosystem in that regard and him being wiser is also a, a callback or not a callback but it's more so a shout out to knowledge so he's going to gather more knowledge and be more be more like a tree grow and just be have his identity sprout out and bloom blooming trees green Heck, I think he's gonna have a plant deck, mate. What do you reckon? So do I. I don't want that to happen, but yeah. To be honest, I think the plant deck is gonna be very interesting because we have the Sylvian archetype in uh, the card game right now, which is quite good, which is all about predicting stuff. And we all have secret rares because I got a gold secret rare of Rose Lover, which is an essential card for the plant deck. But one of my favorite plant cards is actually World Carrot Champion, which is an essential card for a plant deck. 
and it's, it just looks amazing, the concept is amazing, a mix of wrestling and vegetables. If he were to have a plant deck or if he had a good contingent of his deck which revolves around plant or trees or something along the lines, something very nature-esque. Yeah, heck, even if you had a Naturia deck or a rendition of the Naturia archetype or the yeah, just the Naturia deck in general, I would be really happy. But I think that's a bit of a cop out. Do you reckon that his 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 marquee card is going to be a plant monster? Because that doesn't really seem very appealing. Let's look. Let's look at. Let's look at the original series. What was the marquee card for Yugi and Atem essentially? Dark, Dark magician. And for GX, it was Neos, wasn't it? And when we look at five Ds, of course we got Stardust Dragon. These are all very cool looking cards. You know, we have Yuma and his Utopia, which was also a warrior. If you think about it, twenty five hundred attack, twenty one hundred defense. Um, no, two. Yeah, that, that's what the character is going to have this his monster is going to have 2500 attack 2500 defense no 2000 and then defense. The, oh yeah 2000 defense my bad or probably even 20 actually they will never go over that 2000 mark because they want dark magician to be superior through brute analysis of the actual attack and defense points but i think that this character is very likely to have a rose or a plant based deck is there any other archetype which you could see him having? I, I don't think so. I think it's just gonna be a, th there might it might be mainly plant based, but he'll have like a few like different attribute cards or like different type of cards just yeah. to aid him. But the thing is, I think that mainly about this character's deck and his monsters is that his monster, his main monster, or his deck is gonna base his personality. Like it's gonna show. It's gonna reveal who he is when he summons exactly. these monsters. He's gonna relate to them. Like their monster is probably gonna be like wise plant or something like that where it sort of goes back to the character. I think um, another possibility could be that if we look at his hair, there's a Thunderbolt there. Could he possibly have a Thunder-based deck? Because that's a archetype which has no love. Honestly, people do not rate the archetype. Well, I don't rate the archetype. I don't believe that that's <laughs> a good deck at all. I don't believe that um, the Thunder deck has been anything close to competitive in the recent years. The Barry deck, yes, it's not all that. But it's still okay, but it's just not all that. But I think there is a possibility for him to show the inner spark. He gets that inner spark as he's dueling. And that could be through uh, him exhibiting a Thunder-style deck. So... I think I'm gonna conclude with I think that he may have a plant based deck or a thunder based deck as the main centerpieces for the actual deck itself. What do you reckon on the thunder based deck? Thund I think uh, probably, but I think the Thunderbolt, like, I think the Thunderbolt has some sort of meaning towards it because that's <laughs> a Harry very, Potter, like, yeah. it stands out. Like, maybe if he summons or maybe like the Crimson Dragon, like the Crimson Dragon sign, maybe that Thunderbolt has something to relate towards that. Yeah, but then even if you look at the other fringe, so we see the middle fringe, you see the thunderbolt very clearly and the other one also has a line or which is which is mimicking the color of the two spikes that purpley pink color so there might be another thing right there but i do think that because that thunderbolt really catches my eye i don't know if that's a play on the actual light itself or the just the color which exists in his hair like you know how you have a brown hue on certain people with black hair but when you have the light shining on it the brown is very prevalent in that sense maybe they could be doing that but i think there is a more meaning to as you said the thunderbolt itself maybe it glows or something when he were to summon but maybe it's also to show that he may or may not have a thunder deck that would be it i'm going to conclude it there make sure to comment down below what you reckon the deck he may or may not use is and you know what after they reveal the deck please comment down below and tell us how that can be improved or what you expect is going to be the advancement in that deck itself make sure you check out byg aigami's channel he does the best Yu-Gi-Oh content and leave a like share and comment everywhere you may now exit dimsy domain thank you and goodbye